Hello and welcome to Bok the Talk. I'm Shekhar Gupta at Delhi's Lady Shriram College for Women. And what am I doing here? Because my guest today is one of the most famous alumni of this college and one of India's most powerful CEOs, Vinita Bali. Welcome to Bok the Talk. You've been very generous, Shekhar. Not just because you've been a friend of mine for many years, but that's because you are famous and you are powerful and you're doing you wonderful so. work. If you and, say so. And also we got so fed up going to St. Stephen's College. I agree. Uh, all the time. Uh, because all the famous bureaucrats we interview come from there. That so should make you happy. Hidden, this was the hidden secret. That should make you happy. This was the hidden secret. Hidden secret. Or IITs and IIMs. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, somehow uh, corporate power and success is not something that you associate with women anywhere, not just in India. No? You know, though, actually, the um, statistics would prove otherwise, but we leave statistics for the time yeah. being. As you might say for the media now, media, banking, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot more women now. In fact, 85% of our new, new recruits are women. In fact, it's interesting when we look at new recruits coming into the corporate world, it's almost 50-50 now in certain jobs. Hmm. And uh, that's a very encouraging trend because I remember when I passed out, you know, there we were 10% women and 90% yeah. uh, you know, guys. So things are changing. And what was it like to deal with 90% guys? Huh? Being a ten, in a minority of 10%? You know, you, you just stop thinking about it. You know, huh. you don't, beyond a point, actually, gender ceases to matter. Huh. Um, and you know, a lot of people ask you, how is it in the corporate world? You know, for me in the corporate world, it doesn't matter what your gender is or where you come from or what accent you speak with. It's what you do that really counts. Because you work uh, in the most male-dominated society in the world, that's America. Yes. Well, not just Amer North America, but also Latin America. I was there that's for... Even worse, is yeah, it? Yeah, Africa too, in ah. Nigeria and South Africa. And, um, but you know, it was interesting. In many ways, Africa is so much more emancipated when it comes to women. So, just to give you an example, um, I was there in 1992 working with Cadbury's and 48 out of our 50 distributors that we had in Lagos were women and the most successful distributor, not just for Cadbury's, but for Unilever, Colgate, etc, etc, was this woman and interestingly she employed her husband as her accountant. So in the office he knocked on the door before he entered. That was a very trusting wife though, <laughs> who would trust her husband with accounts but you know african law is very interesting it says that what the woman the tribal law what the woman earns is for herself and right. her children she needn't share it with her husband so there was great wisdom in those tribal laws i think uh, tell me uh Vinita, uh chocolates soft drinks biscuits mm -hmm. uh, do people tell you in flights Vinita bali you spent all your life selling junk to people they don't junk quite food. use the word junk. That's um, because I'm a rude journalist. Yeah. Okay. Well, but you know, now in defense of my industry and what I've done, I think there are degrees and shades. So I always, whenever somebody says that to me now, I say, look, I can't argue the fact that uh, fruit is more nutritious than biscuit. But I can tell you, biscuit is a whole lot more nutritious than um, you know a lot of other stuff we eat puris and papri chaat and samosas and gulab I'm jamuns not, i'm surprised so you say so because i believe one of delhi's most popular chana bhatura walas is right across the I know. street from here we used to walk across from here and buy a lot of chana bhatura during my days and all the boys from all the colleges would obviously find that the best chana bhatura that in was delhi. the adda that, 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 that was, was the adda, adda. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. so uh, so tell me about this because i know uh, that you've been talking a lot about nutrition now uh, it's also something that interests me a great deal. Mm. Uh, what got you focused on nutrition? And don't, don't sell biscuits, please. No, 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 no. This is nothing to do with biscuits. It's nothing to do with uh, anything. Um, I'd rather tell it to you as a story. Right. Soon after I joined, now I have to use the biscuit analogy because I was walking through one of our factories and I saw cases and cases stacked up in the factory. And when I asked what these were for, I was told that these were biscuits that we were making for the United Nations as part of the World Food Programme. And these are made to a WFP recipe, 
and largely used in areas where there is either a natural calamity or you know a war and so on ndtv's cricket app android and iphone faster scorecard special analysis and much more download free ndtv.com slash apps